Hello and welcome boys and girls, this is Etheric777 and I'm glad to welcome you tonight again on my channel to watch another little Etheric's Locals production. During my last video I explained to you guys a simple way that allows you to play in HD while you can capture your stuff in SD. And my last video was mainly pointed to the guys on YouTube that maybe just started to uh, yeah, to get into all that YouTube stuff and that maybe want to capture their gameplay and so on and that maybe don't have no idea where to start with. And so the last video that I did was mainly pointed to the people that don't want to spend so much. It was an SD solution and uh, just uh, was a little way to start somewhere with something. But the last video was also pointed to the people that run their personal live stream as I do and that have the problem as I do <laughs> that live in little cities and uh, that means that maybe don't have enough of up speed to run a live stream in HD and you know in this way you have to run your live stream in SD and uh, so a lot of you guys probably did what I did at the beginning you turn down your console to a SD resolution, then you play in SD, you can stream it live in the same moment, but you know, um, somehow all this, to me, it feels like this uh, ends up with eye cancer or something. And so the last video was a little or easy way even, you know, to play in HD while you stream in SD and to me that works very good. So this video here is something like a little update. First of all, I would like to show you an HD PVR that is something like capture card, the next class of capture cards that uh, gives you the possibility to capture your stuff right away in HD. That works when you have a little bit more of money left. It's not so much more expensive, but of course it is a bit more expensive than a SD equipment. But this video, you know, um, is even a little creation because of the comments that I got on my last video and today we were talking about the RGB signal problem that we have mainly over here in Europe with RGB consoles. Um, because you know, when you get an RGB capture card, by the way, RGB doesn't mean component. Component and RGB are two different things, even if sometimes this gets mixed up by some people. Um, when you have an RGB capture card, they can be very expensive and not so convenient, therefore. And of course, you, can de you can't use that capture card to capture your HD signals. And so my idea was mainly, well, it's not my idea, it's <laughs> the idea of a very, very brilliant other person, engineer or something. My idea was, you know, why not to use a little RGB converter and to connect this one to a HD PVR and uh, in this way, you know, have the possibility to capture the old RGB stuff, but also the possibility to capture the stuff in HD. HD. And uh, well, I would like to show that to you because it works very good. And I prepared already something. So the first thing that I would like to show to you is an HD PVR. PVR means uh, personal video recorder. And uh, it works very simple, like a capture card works. You plug it on your PC, using a USB port, then you have there a power plug, and uh, then you have there an input for a component signal, uh, for example, coming from a switch or straight from a console like the PlayStation 3 or the 360 or the Wii or whatever. And then you, had, yeah, then you have there even a pass through output, that means output that you can plug straight on your television. So for the people among of you that want just simply to capture a HD signal that works really very very good and very easy and uh, you know you can uh, play in uh, on your television you have there just a USB cable that goes to your computer you need uh, a very big hard disk because uh, these files are very very big I think a bit more than uh, four gigabytes per hour but um, you know that is a very very nice machine and I guess the most of people in the gaming community use that already since a lot of years and uh, I really can suggest this machine I use it since uh, I don't know um, I guess over one year maybe two years and it's really uh, very very interesting and uh, as I told that works with a component signal and now we come 
to this machine here that I would like to show to you. So um, this is an RGB two component converter and you get these ones for a bit less than 50 euros on eBay. Uh, they are really not uh, that expensive and it works in a way that you plug your component cable on one side that is actually the output the output is connected to the HD PVR and um, yeah these little converters don't have the possibility to pass through the audio signal but I will show that to you later and uh, yeah then we have here for example now a console that is my beloved Dreamcast with an RGB cable and uh, you just plug this on the other side of your converter and on the inside I opened this up you have uh, some buddies to uh, work on the color and voila one second later you have already a nice RGB signal that you can capture straight from your HD PVR and um, as I told it works very good it doesn't work for all consoles it works uh, for the most consoles, not for modified consoles, if the signal isn't 100% uh, perfect. But um, as I told, that is a simple way, you know, to have uh, an HD PVR that you can use for everything because it has a component input, S video input, and a composite input. And then just a little upgrade like one of these converters, and you can capture even your RGB signals, and you don't need an RGB capture card. And um, for the fact you know that you have not the possibility to capture or to pass through with the audio signal you just can get one of these for two three bucks and uh, you can connect this straight on the machine so you enter here with the SCART cable here you have an output for the audio there you have the output for the composite you connect this to your HD PVR or uh, whatever system you already own and this is a very very nice machine so that was uh, just a little update of the last video because I would like to show that to you and uh, well this is a result out of the comments so whatever the comments will be on this video the next video where I will talk a bit uh, about uh, yeah capturing and all that will be based on the comments of this video and uh, I think that was already long enough I will stop it here I just will show you now uh, a little signal that I captured straight away from the Dreamcast so you can imagine how this looks like on YouTube and you will see that there are uh, really no color fluctuations and um, I hope you like it I hope this video will help to some of you guys to be informed about these very very nice machines very interesting for the gamers among of you and I thank you very much that you had some time to watch this video. Come back soon and see you again. Bye bye.